the weird of things keep happening konami tcg actually released a forum post on their konami blog site and it is talking about the new ban list so i want to go over and what their thoughts were for the hits that they've done now this is for the december 1st 2022 forbidden and limited list so let's get right into it. A new Forbidden Limited list for the advanced format just took effect on December 1st. And it's currently in play for the YCS Remote Duel. Check out the big changes that were made that affect this weekend's competition. Newly Forbidden, Mystic Mayan and Curious the Lightsworn Div Dominion have joined the Forbidden Limited list. Mystic Mayan had recently become a key card in competitive dueling forcing many duelists to include cards in their deck that can get it off the field or risk losing once Mystic Mine is played. With Mystic Mine now forbidden, duelists no longer need to consider the possibility of this controversial, controversial field spell stalling a duel for several consecutive turns. That is pretty much what I thought Mystic Mine was really doing to the format. And in my opinion, I'm glad that the card is gone because of those reasons, stalling and many, many other things. After that, we have Curious Light Sworn Dominion. It was a popular card, especially among tier limits duelists, because it was adept at sending cards from the deck to the graveyard. Perhaps most importantly, it's able to send a card of your choosing to the graveyard if it's Link Summoned by seven sending highly impactful cards like Eradicator, Epidemic Virus, or Deck Devastation Virus to the graveyard, duels were able to return all those cards to the field with Nightmare Griffin and use them to annihilate an opponent's chance of winning. The addition of Curious Lightsworn Dominion to the Forbidden List prevents this card or prevents this from happening and deals a blow to decks like Tier Limit that made the most effective use of Curious. And that is true, but it I still feel like that this list was supposed to be with the last forbidden to the, the last forbidden limited list that we got in October, but I'm happy that we finally got these two cards gone because now there is more open space that they can do. Newly limited, tier limits have been dominating the advanced format of the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game ever since they re the release of Magn Magnificent Mavens and the Fairy Typey Shizu cards. These decks typically used three copies of Herald of, of Orange Light because it could stop an opponent's monster effect while sending one of the Ishizu cards to the graveyard, allowing the effects of the sent monster to be used. The new limitation of Herald of Orange Light weakens tier limit decks that incorporated the fairy type Ishizu monsters from Magnificent Mavens into them. Granted that hitting Herald of Orange Light to one was definitely a good call for when they did it, but in my opinion, it really didn't do much because people were already cutting the card or putting it in the side deck depending on the matchup because you don't want to open up Herald of the Orange Light multiple copies with no other cards because that would consider to be you're minusing yourself two cards just to negate a monster. People were citing the card because it's more of a situation in things like the mirror match or just certain little situations against Rogue. But... It's still a good hit because it does stop your, your, you or your opponent from initiating something like a mill five on either player's turn, which is pretty nice. Afterwards, we have newly semi-limited Blurless Restitol Starling was previously limited and now has been bumped up to two copies per deck, effective de December 1st. They really love em em emphasizing December 1st. The Leerlier strategy hasn't recently been popular in competitive dueling, so this change may give them as much needed boost. It could go to 3 for all I care. They really overkilled the deck of Tri Brigade Leerlist because of the reason Samorg was a card. Now, since Samorg is gone, I really think that things like Recital Starling can come back to 3. With no problem, you are really only running two in Litterless Tri-Brigade and nothing ever more. 
So, in my opinion, this card could definitely go to three on the next next list. After that, we have removed from the Forbidden Limited list section. A whopping five cards were removed from the Forbidden Limited list entirely effective defense December 1st. There is December 1st again. Two of those cards, Dimensional Fissure and Macrocosmos, were previously both limited to one. Both of these cards remain on the field after they're activated and will banish any key card that will be sent to a Tyrolent's Duelist Graveyard. Generally, this card this will completely shut down the Tier Limits Duelist plays, since virtually all of the, of the monsters in the Tier Limits deck needs to be sent to the graveyard to use their most powerful effect. The removal of these two cards from the Forbidden Limited lists gives other duelists the power they need to defeat Tier Limit decks. That is absolutely true. I definitely think that putting them to three will benefit a lot of other decks as well, like Kashira being able to use Dimension Fissure in the main deck, Macrocosmos maybe in the side deck, because it helps them facilitate what they want with Tier Limits Arise Heart when that comes out in Photon Hypernova. This is one of the, these are two of the strongest cards in the game that have ever been printed ever since years ago, because I remember when they really first came out, they were definitely meta impactful in things like Macro Rabbit or other decks that utilize them quite well, like um, Stun with Banisher of the Radiance, Fossil Dina, and many others. Overall, these two cards going to three really did help the game in some aspects in, or another. And in my opinion, I definitely, definitely think they're going to stay at three for years and years to come next up we have telenite ptolemyus which was removed from the forbidden limited list in the latest update just like how ocg just put it to one for theirs we got it to three it could serve a similar function to dimensional fissure and macrocosmos because you can exceed summon it and then go straight into so telenite can stellar diamond by using it as an exceed material Stellarite can Stellar Diamond can be Exceed Summon in the main phase too by using a Telenite Exceed monster you control, like Telenite. Yes, like Telenite Ptolemaeus, as an Exceed in material. English is hard today, as you could tell. While it's on the field, any other player could send cards from the deck to the graveyard, and any card that returns from the graveyard to the hand is banished instead. Sending cards from the deck to the graveyard is a core to the tier limit strategy, allowing Satellanite Constellar Diamond to put up a complete stop to just about any tier limit deck. In addition, Stellanite Constellar Diamond can give up an Exceed material to negate the activation of a Dark Monster's effect and destroy it, which comes in handy against most and many popular monsters. They emphasize so much on Stellar Knight and Stellar Diamond, it's actually very, very true. Either you can use three materials detaching from the Telenite Knight Ptolemyus to summon out Diamond, or you can go into main phase two, just slap it on top, and your opponent is just stuck there until they can remove it. Most likely from things, maybe if they can make a Fuguska, or really anything that could stop or hinder the card, but Diamond is a great alternative if your deck is a rank 4 focused deck, that can easily make it. And finally, after that, we have Metaverse and Fire Formation Tanky. They were removed from the Forbidden Limited list entirely. Metaverse, which now, which was previously limited, was most often used to get Mystic Mind from the deck. Now with Myst Mystic Mind on the Forbidden list, Duelists can use more copies of Metaverse to help them get the field spells that they need. Fire Formation Tanky was previously semi-limited and was removed. From the Forbidden Limited list entirely on December 1st, Tanky is a key card for improving the consistency of decks that rely on Beast Warriors, including decks utilizing the Tri Brigade strategy. Decks built around Beast Warriors, like Fire Fists, haven't recently been popular in competitive dueling due to the dominance of tier limits and sprite strategy. But being able to use an extra copy of Tanky may help out some of the duelists still relying on Beast Warriors to win. Tanky and Metaverse, they are two cards that always go in hand in hand. Metaverse is a wonderful card for tutoring out field spells, depending on the deck you're playing, if you're running things like Labyrinth, Lair of Darkness, or many other things. It could do so much. 
if you're playing stuff like Lair of Darkness, you can easily activate it from deck to make all your viruses live or many other cards live as well. Along with running in the Labyrinth, which also is super useful because it activates and triggers your graveyard effects of your Labyrinth monsters, which can come up quite a bit, especially in decks like Trap Decks. But for Tanky, it is one of those cards that has always jumped from 3, 1 to 2 to 3 ever since it really came out because I remember we hit it down to 2 because of 3-axis Fire Fist. Then it went back to 3, and now it went down to 1, back to 2, back to 3. And all I have to say, Tanky is one of those powerful cards that you really have to watch out for as it can limit design space, but that's easy to get around if you just make the card a level 3 or level 5 or anything in between or outside of that outside of a level 4 because in my opinion I really love tanky as a card it is such a powerful card since it adds one level 4 or lower beast warrior and it just has so much history so much utility for every single deck that I can think of off the top of my head that I played in the past being Fire Fist, Bujin, Tri Brigade. And finally, let's round out this whole entire thing that they've actually made. The latest Forbidden Limited List update isn't the most drastic one we've ever seen, but it weakens tier limit decks that dominate the three most recent YCS events, Pasadena, Dormont, and Costa Rica. This weekend's Remote Duel is the first event which the new forbidden limited list is in effect so we'll soon see the full impact that it's having on competitive dueling which we can actually look at with the top 16. now i'm actually going to look at the top 32 because i have that stuff listed down so top 32 pairings, we had a total of 18 Tyranlitz Ishizu Bestial, 5 Sprites, 5 Flundries, 3 Runic, and 1 Exorcister. This is very strong, having that many of each deck there. That is a 56% representation to Tyranlitz, and in my opinion, that is way still too much compared to the five sprite and five flundries which doesn't really take up much as if we bring up the calculator real quick so that is only a 16 percent representation for each deck and that isn't the best that there could be now if we look at the overall top 16 we have one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine total tier limit decks out of nine. So that is a 50% conversion rate. That is quite scary. And if we look at other decks, there's two, three flunderies. So that is definitely one thing. Then we also have a total of two sprites, I see three sprites. And the one Nichiria Runic. So, in my opinion, with how things have been with this format, I hope by Photon Hypernova, we do have a list that facilitates around hitting things like tier limit because that is really the big elephant in the room but i keep saying that the only really problem cards that skate keeping a lot of decks would be things like the bestials and the ashiju shufflers being medora and keldo those are the two most prominent cards that actually see play in multiple other decks because i know some tier decks are only playing medora and Heldo, because shuffling cards back is very powerful. Bestials, on the other hand, those are another problem to deal with because we currently have three. We're getting another one. And in all honesty, I think Magnum probably the right hit like what OCG did today. But 
I wonder what you guys think about this article that they released because it gave a lot of insight of what they think on hitting the cards and explaining what they want these cards to do via purpose. But I hope you guys did enjoy and see you guys in the next video.